Hi and welcome to Shanghai. I'm Marina Yakupova and in this video we'll explore the diverse ways to navigate around Shanghai. Get ready to embark on an exciting journey around this bustling metropolis. Let's go. First, let's explore the Shanghai Metro. It's the world's largest subway network with 20 lines, including Maglev. It provides a rapid and highly interconnected network which can take you to almost any destination in Shanghai. To buy a ticket, you can use a self-service machine which you can find at any station. And good news, it has interfaces both in English and Chinese. So I need the free RMB and get your ticket. Fares are based on distance. A trip within downtown typically costs no more than six RMB. You can also use a transportation card, but the most convenient way is paying via Alipay QR code or NPC function. Personally, for Metro, I use an app called Shanghai Metro Man. It helps find a way, plus it estimates travel time from station A to B. By the way, don't forget to check the operating hours of stations on the official website. Generally, the metro opens at 5.30 am and closes at 11 pm at weekdays. On Friday and Saturday, the lines close one hour late. Another mean of public transport to explore is the bus. It can be tricky to use if you don't read the Chinese because all the bus names are in characters. However, you can always ask for help to look up for a bus for you. At every bus stop in Shanghai, you can find information. It's in Chinese, but all bus stops have the same standard for the content. On the board, you can see the schedule of the bus. First, it shows what time the first bus arrives, and then the last one leaves. On the left angle, you can see the number of the bus, then below it says what direction it goes. Sometimes you can see the electronic display at the bus stop showing when the next bus is coming. Again, don't hesitate to ask for help if you don't understand Chinese. When you find a suitable bus hidden in the right direction, you need to hop in through the first door. Usually the bus fare is 2 RMB. Prepare coins to put inside the box or swipe the Shanghai public transportation card. You can also pay via Alipay. Now you are on the bus and you can track your stop by watching the display sign at the front of the bus. And now let's discover Shanghai's shared bicycle system, a popular and eco-friendly way to get around the city. Shared bicycle companies vary on different color of the bike. Personally, I use Mobike, a blue one, because for me it's easy to just scan Alipay and go around the city exploring my bike. For another bikes company, you need to have an app. So, if you want to use a bike, first of all, you need to find it, then scan the QR code, and after you can use it. Remember to lock it when you are done. Explore Shanghai on two wheels and embrace the city's bike-friendly culture. By the way, you need to park your bike inside a special area, usually enclosed by a white line. The Huangpu River flows along Shanghai and crosses the city into two parts, Pudong and Puxi. Although there are several metro lines and tunnels across the river, some people who ride a motorbicycle or a bike still prefer taking a ferry to cross the river. Currently, there are 14 passenger ferry lines with a minimum interval of 10 minutes and maximum of 40 minutes between ferry operations. You can pay for your ferry ride with either coins or a transportation card, as well as WeChat and Alipay. That was our transport guide to Shanghai. I'm Irina Yakupova. Stay tuned for more and take care.